let me guess, two of Pop's burgers? What else? Such the gourmet, Edgar. <laughs> Lance. Lance! I need you to clean the good place. She should be here soon. What time do you have? Same as that clock over the door you keep staring at. All right, he's waiting for that new girl. What do you know about it? You think you know something about her? She's a vegetarian. I'm a vegetarian. You know, for a vegetarian, you make a damn good burger. <laughs> His pop taught him that much. He enjoyed stuffing you old Hicks. Hicks? We've been coming here practically every day back since when your pop, God rest his soul, back when he started this place. Stat used to change your diapers. Damn stinky. She ain't coming. What? She's sick. With a spoon over at Osco. Said she called up for some syrup to deliver out to her place on Highway O. Now, back when I was trying to, you know, pass the ketchup, Stadler. Lance! Grab your keys. I need you to drive. I'll hold this. This place just makes me sick. Making hamburgers makes me sick. You don't know what it's like. I didn't ask to inherit that greasy place, flipping flesh all day long. I could be a great chef. I could be in New York. I could be in Paris. Hell, you wouldn't understand. You didn't know my father. You just smoke dope, wear your headphones, eat my food and wash dishes all day long. <laughs> You're a dishwasher. Haven't you ever wanted to change for something more? Let me tell you a story. In ancient China, there lived a stone cutter who toiled all day long under the hot sun. One day he looked up into the bright sunlight and wished that he might be as strong as the sun. And without warning, he became the sun and shone down with might on all below him. Till a cloud drifted beneath him and blocked his light. How strong that cloud is, he thought. To block the light of the sun? I wish I was a cloud. He became the cloud. He provided shade to the earth from the bright sunlight, drifted merrily along, and until one day he ran smack dab into the middle of a tall range of mountains. Impressed by the height and majesty of the mountain range, he made yet another wish and became the mountains. He stood tall and proud, very still, until one day he felt a sharp pain. He looked down, and there, chipping away at the mountain, was a stone cutter. 
so the moral is that everything has a negative side to it. There is no negative side and no positive side. The moral is you don't have to change, man. Just uh, open up your perspective. Why do you always make me out to be the bad guy, Eddie? Pop? Yeah, Eddie, it's me. You're a cow. Yeah, well, it turns out the Hindus were right about a few things. It's complicated. Look, Edgar, I'm worried about you. You abandoned the diner. Where are you going? I'm delivering dinner. Look, if you're gonna run the diner, you just I didn't can't... ask to run the diner, Pop. I didn't ask to fry gross, unhealthy food every day. I didn't ask for that. I could be a great chef. Maybe, but running don't prove nothing. Hell, when I started out here, there was nothing. There still is nothing, Pop. No, the diner is something. The folks here need that. They need you. Who? Waldorf? Statler? Statler used to change your damn stinky diapers. I know. Don't go chasing some woman you know nothing about. Your mom and me didn't raise no fool. Look, I know what I'm doing, all right? Just get out of the road. How's mom? Oh, real good. She's in television, advertising for some computer company. I'm real proud of that effort. How come you're a cow, Pop, and not a bull? I think that's enough father-son time for today. I gotta mosey along. Little woman will be wondering where I grazed to. Good luck, son. Thanks, Pop. Oh, Eddie. Some of the others, they ask me to say thanks for not eating them. This is turning into the strangest evening. from the diner. I heard you were sick. Me? No. Annie here was. She's much better now. Thank you. Witherspoon from the Osco brought her some syrup. What's that? Oh, I, um, I brought you your dinner. It's all vegetarian. Well, <laughs> now why did you do that? You know what? I switch diets anyway. Doing that whole high protein thing. It's a lot of steak, but uh, I think it's gonna do wonders for my skin. Thank you. Was there something else? You look different. Hey, Doris, who was it? 
Uh, honey, it's that guy from the diner. He brought dinner. Invite him in for a beer. Oh, sweet heart, it's uh, it's time to change Anna. Damn stinky diaper. Do you want to come in? Matlock's on. No. I, uh, I think I'm needed back at the diner. Good night. Uh, uh, small fire. Stad and I grabbed what we could. Here. Thanks, Waldorf. Statler. Sorry we couldn't get more. With all that grease, it just... Poof! I'm sorry I called you both Hicks before. Apology accepted. What am I going to do? Well, don't worry, Edgar. We'll help you rebuild. It'll be exactly like before. I don't know. What are you saying? You're not going to reopen? Well, what's a community without a diner? We need that diner. You mean you need my father? We could have stopped coming back after Pop passed on, but we didn't. We kept coming because of you. You're the best cook that ever did. Chef. Chef. We've ever known. And, uh, begging his pardon, a lot better than Pop ever was. All you ever eat is hamburgers. I just can't make any more hamburgers. Well, uh, we could, uh, we could try something else. That's right. Uh, we could change. Witherspoon over the Osco. Rice and beans, simple. There's your perfect protein. Hell, remember those beans we got back in the war? Shut up, Stadler. Pass the ball, Samick, please. <laughs> <laughs> 